We set out to test our lunar habitat in one of the toughest climates on Earth for future moon missions. In 2024, humans will land on the moon again. This habitat is designed to create a secure and stimulating home for these future explorers. Last year, in 2020, we lived inside this prototype of an unfolding habitat. We spent 61 days inside this habitat on our simulated moon mission in complete isolation. It was an experience we'll never forget. We lived on just 4.5 square meters. We ate, we slept, we studied and we worked out, all in this tiny space. Through a two-year process and thousands of hours of innovation, we went from idea to concept to this full off-grid prototype. From the beginning, it was clear that we had to solve the challenge of transportation. How would we get a habitat this large all the way to the moon? It has to unfold. Inspired by the ancient Miura Ori tessellation, we developed a geometry that could fold, but instead of just folding a flat piece of paper, we folded a sphere. Building it required an entirely new structural system comprised of compliant seams and rigid panels joined together to form a strong and airtight shell. There are no precedents to learn from for a structure in a place like this. Everything has to be invented. Together with Armacell, we developed a custom carbon fiber composite panel using their fully recycled PET rigid foam for the core. It was a remarkable challenge. The habitat had to endure some of the most extreme climate on Earth. With up to 300 kilometers per hour winds and down to minus 50 degrees Celsius. The main insulating material is Armaflex and with just 64 millimeters it kept us warm and alive. Armaflex is not just super insulating, it's also very soft to the touch. And by covering it with textiles, we created a comfortable and healthy cocoon to live inside. A habitat is an astronaut's life vessel, and fire can be disastrous. Armaflex is fire resistant, and it's even got antimicrobial properties. It protects against fungi and bacterial growth. Here we are again, almost a year later, more than a thousand kilometers north of the Arctic Circle. The habitat is still in great condition. We are packing it down and bringing it back home to Denmark. And then what? And then we go to the moon.